Hi, I'm the connector and your go-to realtor for the Indianapolis area, Deshaun Tharp. And if you're in the market to purchase your first home, then you have come to the right spot to get informed on your options. And today, there are a few programs I'm going to highlight. First, let's cover FHA, which stands for the Federal Housing Administration, who is the largest insurer of mortgages in the world, and for great reason. Many people think FHA is the actual lender, but they're not. They are a set of guidelines for approved FHA lenders used to qualify someone for a loan. Then the FHA guarantees the loan as long as their standards are met, lending institutions approve the loan. What's great about FHA is they have a very low down payment requirement, requiring only 3% down at closing. So if you apply for a $100,000 home, you only have to come up with $3,500 at closing. But even better, is that they will allow up to 100% of those funds to be gifted funds. So if your parents or someone you know wanted to help you get going and wanted to gift you your down payment, you could do that with an FHA loan. Furthermore, FHA doesn't require a social security number. Not every home buyer will have a valid social security number and according to the FHA, that's okay. FHA guidelines permits loans to employees of the World Bank and foreign embassies, for example. The FHA will also insure loans for non-permanent resident aliens. One of the bigger attractions to the program is their looser credit guidelines over a conventional mortgage. FHA has flexible credit standards. Of all the variable loan types in today's U.S. market, FHA loans are among the most forgiving with respect to credit standards. The FHA does not require perfect credit and even instructs its approved lenders to look beyond isolated credit events and to consider a borrower's complete credit history, regardless of the credit score. Even borrowers with a recent foreclosure, short sale, deed in lieu, or bankruptcy can be eligible for FHA financing. Mandatory three-year waiting periods do not exist with an FHA loan. The price you pay for this flexibility is a 1.75% mortgage insurance premium. The second loan I'm going to discuss is the conventional 97 loan program which was discontinued and is now back in full force through the Federal Home Finance Agency. This is an incredible product that is actually more advantageous than even FHA. Requiring only 3% down and like FHA, the entire 3% down payment can be gifted funds. And depending on your annual household income, you may qualify for a lower private monthly insurance premium. Traditional credit score guidelines vary from lender to lender, but this is an incredible opportunity. You save a half of a point versus FHA, and you don't have to pay the 1.75% mortgage insurance fee required with FHA. Truly an incredible program. Which one is best for you should be discussed with a reputable loan originator. I would be honored to help you in any way possible. Now, if you're a veteran and you're looking for a home in a zone, that qualifies you for a USDA loan. You qualify for a zero down payment mortgage. If you would, enter your name and your email address on this page and I will get you your answers. I will also send you some frequently asked questions for FHA, like what's the minimum credit score? What if I had a past short sale, foreclosure, or bankruptcy? Do they construct loans and more? So many people never even try to obtain a mortgage out of fear of their credit score thinking they don't have enough money to put down or simply because they don't know where to start. Well, you have taken the first step, education. Home ownership is incredibly gratifying. It is incredibly important to work with someone that will truly go to work for you and put you in the best possible scenario. Thanks for watching this video. You guys have a great day.